Hi everybody, this is Julie with Compassionate Cards, and I've had a few emails in regards to wanting to know a little bit more about Compassionate Cards and how it works, so I'll explain it to you guys, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a shout out via email. My email is readysetstamp at yahoo.com. I also have another email, julie at compassionatecards.com, so you can reach me at either place. So how this works is uh, every single month I have a new mission for the month. So this month happens to be the Salvation Army here in Tacoma, Washington. And I'm so excited about the Salvation Army. I learned so much this summer when I took a tour through their facility. I had no idea. I thought the Salvation Army did clothing and also did furniture. I thought that's what they did, so I feel so naive that I didn't know. I had I had no idea. So come to find out, I've written some of these down because it's so many, I couldn't believe this. So they do um, the Adult Rehabilitation Center, which is for men and for women with serious life problems such as alcohol or drug dependencies. They also offer a youth program. They offer holiday assistance with meals and they help with the affiliated with the Toys R Us program. They have this really cool thing where they have women come in and they literally have a pampering day where they get their makeup done, their nails done, and it's just special just for them to boost their self-esteem. They help domestic violence victims. They offer uh, career clothing to people that are going to different job interviews and career assistance in helping you get a job. They have a prison ministry and also a senior assistance program called the Silver Crest Residence. There's just so many amazing things that they offer that I, I'm just overwhelmed by all the things that they offer. And I think it's so awesome. So this month, it is the Salvation Army. And how, it, how Compassionate Cards works is that the first of the month until the 31st of the month, you have to send in cards and then... I either ship them or bring them. And since this is a local one, I'll just be carrying it into the facility since it's local. And with the other uh, other ministries that I've done before, the missions before, what I've done is just ship them off. So just depending. And I, I've gotten my ideas from searching on the internet. I've also gotten my ideas from the Split Coast Stampers Board. Awesome, awesome ladies there. I've gotten suggestions from you guys here on YouTube. And I've also gotten suggestions, of course, from friends and family. So I take suggestions any way, shape, or form, and um, I just li line up who would work best for that month. And usually there's there's no rhyme or reason to it. If, if I'm doing a couple senior events or missions, I try to keep them spaced out in between, but that's how that works. And so what you do is you send your cards in between the first of the month to the 31st of the month, and then I box them up at the end of the month and either bring them or ship them to the mission that's going to be for that month. So this month, I am really excited because I'm going to be offering another prize to the person that donates the most cards. And I am so excited to tell you guys, after the fact, when I thought that there were 679 cards, which to me is astounding to be able to, you guys should have seen the box, boxes, to be able to ship to someone, so I thought that was incredible. But then there were more cards that came in yesterday. I had a mammoth, when I say mammoth, like a box this big that came in from Cindy from the Split Coast Stampers Board. And we now have 1,088 cards that I shipped off today to the stillsomeone.org organization. And that's an organization that's for seniors and also gives blankets to the seniors. So if you guys want to make cards during the month and then ship them in slowly at a time or just do one shipment at a time, however you want to do it, I will keep track. The only thing I ask, if you are going to be doing Christmas cards, if you could please try to have them to me by the 15th. I know that's a lot to ask. But uh, that gives me a chance to get them delivered to them so that they can then give them out to the people that will be there during Christmas. So, uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything you guys have been above and beyond and you're so supportive and your messages are so uplifting and I just thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There is one other thing that I want to share with you guys and um, I'm really big into random acts of kindness and so even if you guys don't have time to make cards, um, there is something you can do right within your neighborhood and your community. 
And my special thing that I like to do, and this was even before I knew all this, all this about the Salvation Army, uh, I love when the when there's the bell ringers there, and they're wanting you to donate some change or some dollars into there. My favorite thing to do is surprise them, and I surprise them by this. I take one of these hot hands, and or you can do a pair of these little stretchy gloves, and you can usually get these for a dollar, and they have them at you know Fred Meyer, different stores for a dollar, the dollar store for a dollar, and this was also a dollar, and these are those things that you just crunch, and they can put them in their pocket and keep warm, and then usually, well, they do it at around here, so what I do is I go into the store, and they usually have a coffee stand right there, and I buy them a cocoa, because I don't know if they're coffee drinkers or not. So I buy them a cocoa, and then I bring out the cocoa, and then hand them the hand warmers with it, and or if I do gloves, just depending on what I'm going to do. But that's my little way of just appreciating them, because they're taking the time out of their day, and they're freezing out there. Those poor guys. And I'm thinking of it right now, because I'm standing here. It is really cold, and we're actually possibly getting forecasts for snow this this weekend, which I can't even believe. So, um, I just want to remind you guys, if you can, if it's possible, I know there's a lot of people out there right now that have lost their jobs and are struggling, so um, if that's you, just know that I'm definitely praying for you guys, and if you are able to help out someone this year, please do, in little or big way, however you can do it, please do. So thank you guys, and if you have any questions Oh, I meant to mention my blog. My blog is compassionatecards.blogspot.com to learn more and to get the ship to address to send in the cards. And my other blog is readysitstampit.blogspot.com because Ready Sit Stamp was already taken because I've had Ready Sit Stamp at yahoo.com forever. Anyway, I digress. You guys, thank you so much and just I hope you have a really, really wonderful Christmas. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.